Jeff Montgomery here with Accurate Rifles and Restorations. Today I got a Remington 700 in the shop and uh, it's kind of a rare bird so I thought I'd make a video about it. Some of you guys may be familiar with this, some of you may not. Uh, but for a while there, Remington was making bolts uh, with a lock feature on them. Uh, the dreaded, venerable J-Lock. So, generally I always tell guys if you see this on a gun that you're looking to buy, run away. Because these are just kind of silly. Uh, just uh, one of those litigation things where Remington's been sued so many dang times over the years that they just come up with ridiculous ways of making the gun safer. Uh, well, this is a physical lock that basically you got a key that's in the shape of this J, fits in there, and you turn it. And that cams a little uh, cross pin here, cams over and blocks the firing pin from moving forward. Well, as I'm sure you could uh, guess, that would uh, be quite annoying if this engaged on you at the wrong time or uh, you lost the key, you maybe you lock it, put it in your safe for storage, and next year to go, you go out to go hunting and you lost your key and now your gun's useless and, and whatnot. Uh, it's a lot like uh, redundant safeties on pistols and things, especially for concealed carry pistols. I mean, it's just the more safeties you put on these things, the less reliable they are and, and this and that. So there's that aspect of the J-Locks, but the biggest problem with these is they cause they cause a lot more problems than any good. Not only do they make them the gun <clears throat> less reliable, but uh, they also cause misfires and uh, ignition problems, inconsistency, and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is pull this J-Lock, the firing pin assembly out, and uh, show you what I'm talking about here. So. Now, hopefully you can hear this. I'll try to get the microphone up close. Okay, so you unscrew it, and there's already a lot of resistance here, but. <laughs> so, as you can see, the firing pin spring is snaked. That's kind of what the term is for this problem. It's uh, something with the way, we'll, we'll take this apart and show you, but uh, as you can clearly see, that's causing problems here in the bolt body. For one thing, <laughs> you know, that's, that's gonna slow down your pin, increasing lock time by a lot, and then also just inconsistent, like shot to shot, you know, maybe one, one works okay and then the other doesn't, but uh, but yeah, I always, you know, these are replaceable, so this is kind of the point of this video. What we got here is a brand new firing and pin assembly from Gratan Rifles in Rifle, Colorado. So let's get this guy open here. So what we got here is a American made by a small mom and pop shop, uh, Gratan Rifles, complete replacement firing, firing pin assembly. And hopefully you can see that underneath the spring. It's nicely fluted, lightweight, but still all steel. And we'll go into the specifications of all this stuff in a second. But uh, basically he sells a, a direct replacement that simply screws right back into the bolt body. And now here's the difference. No binding, no resistance there, especially when it's already, you know, when it's installed and captured here in the uh, channel of the bolt and stuff like that. So, so much, much nicer uh, replacement assembly. These are handy for normal Remington 700s, but uh, the huge benefit here for, for my guy is going to be just replacing this whole thing. <clears throat> I did ask him once I pulled this out. You know, you have an ignition problems, and he's like, yeah, I thought it was a trigger and all this and that. And I'm like, well, no, it's certainly not the trigger's fault. And so clearly, clearly this is a no bueno. Okay, so, okay, I've just got another 
disassembly tool here, which will, this will allow me to push the firing pin forward to get the pin out, retaining pin, and then show you, show you what the J-Lock system looks like here. Okay, so there's just a little cross pin in the cocking piece that we gotta knock out. Uh, similar to a, a standard 700 firing pin assembly with a few minor differences. Just get a punch out here. And shouldn't be too tight, but find out here in a minute. Yeah, that pin is not tight. So, just a little steel cross pin there that goes through the hole in the cocking piece. Okay, so with that pin removed, now the cocking piece comes off. And you'll notice it's a little bit different than a standard one, it's a little shorter here. Uh, but the biggest difference here is gonna be the pin itself. And then you'll see, be able to see that J-lock mechanism in there. Okay, so the bolt shroud itself, similar but a little bit longer, and obviously, you can see in there, there we go. So there's that uh, camming deal, <clears throat> see that? That red, you're dead, so that's off. So when you rotate this, little pointy device here, when you rotate that, this, Rotates and cams down. I don't know if I can get it to work without the key. No. But anyway, that cams down in there. On to, where's the pin? So, big old spring. And that cams into this cutout here. So, pull the trigger. It's gonna be stopped by that, that cam in there. And I've even known guys that didn't even realize the thing was locked. They didn't even know what it was. So my gun won't shoot and this and that, and you know, won't fire and this and that. So bring it in and I'm like, oh, you got your J-lock locked. You know, like, what the hell's a J-lock? <laughs> well, now they know. Okay, and then the spring itself, this is the old one. You can see it's actually pretty bent. Simply from being snaked for all these years, you know, inside the bolt there. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. You know, these components, we'll give them back to the customer, but I highly recommended replacing that. And so that's what we did. So anyway, um, got a little bit over the details of this Gratan replacement. So this is a Gen 5, uh, Gen V, so I assume that means five, no Roman numeral five. Uh, Gen 5 fluted steel firing pin assembly in uh, silver. It comes with a chrome silica spring, and they're made uh, right there in uh, Rifle, Colorado on his uh, Swiss uh, Swiss CNC machines. So he's got a real nice shop. I've been up there to Rifle. Well, down there, I guess, now that I live in Wyoming. But uh, real nice shop, real nice people. Um, Greg's a legend in, in the precision rifle world but uh, now he makes parts makes parts like this real high quality stuff uh, but the I guess kind of from the top down we got the bolt shroud uh, this is made with 70 75 dash t6 uh, high, high grade aerospace aluminum it's uh, something about the machining the threads the collar the height of the bolt shroud flats to give the best fit in the industry blah 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 so basically it's it's not gonna be too tight, not too loose with the threads there. <clears throat> yeah, bushing collar, hide the shroud, all that good stuff. They say they're about 10 thousandths larger in the areas that take out the sloppy fit of the old, uh, the original OEM parts. Uh, better fit for the cocking piece and firing pin to the shroud. Then we have the Norgard nickel plate. You have the best finished aluminum shroud in the industry, so. It is quite nice looking. 
all give the most durable and consistent firing pin travel from shot to shot. Uh, second here, moving on down, is the fluted firing pin made out of steel. Uh, Pre-hardened 4041, sorry, 4140 steel. Also made in-house on their own Swiss screw machines, uh, CNC machines. You know, like Unlike the cheaper pins that are constructed from two jointed parts, Mike, his pin is crafted from a single piece of steel, resulting in a more durable, fail-safe design. The weight-saving flutes shortens the lock time by reducing the weight, obviously. And the tip contour has the uh, traditional fracture point removed and a radius machine to prevent the tip from breaking off. Honestly, that's pretty rare. I've not seen that happen often in my days, but uh, he's talking about here is very nicely radiused. So that'll reduce any kind of possible uh, primer puncturing or, or anything like that. Uh, right, so uh, the spring fit to the shank is the best on the market. There is very little uh, play there or any kind of slop going on and uh, whatnot. So zero rub on the inside of the bolt body is what we're talking about here. And there's two reasons for the fire, spiral flutes. First is to identify if you purchased a GTR product. So that's kind of just their branding, uh, the fluting that is. And the second is that the flutes are milled in the direction of the spring as it uncoils during release. As a final process, they surface burnish the pins in ceramic media to give a slick surface and to edge radius deburr from fluting. Basically, they're tumbling these parts, you know, getting them all nice and smooth. Uh, that's nice, nice added bonus. Uh, this allows the pin to slide with lower friction with the best bolt shroud and spring within the bolt shroud and spring. The cross pin hole is chamfered to help in assembly. And he's talking about the pin. I'm not going to take this one apart because you just saw me do this other one. No real reason to or anything more like that. But uh, uh, this is a long action style uh, configuration. Weighing it at 2.8 ounces. Uh, he says the short action one is 2.5 ounces. And <clears throat> they're boasting this is the best steel assembly on the market, period. And I agree. Very high quality product. Uh, I believe this retails for $79.95. I think as of April of, she's now it's March or no, May, as of May of 2024. Right, so these uh, are good direct replacement for the traditional 700, uh, the left hand version, which this one actually is a left hand version, as you can see by the bolt here. <clears throat> uh, they'll fit the 721s, uh, the 40X long and obviously replace the J-Locks. So that's what this one's doing. Okay, so basically he says to coat it with a little bit of grease on the threads um, and then maybe just a couple of dibbles of oil here. Uh, I would recommend going to the Gratan Rifles website for complete instructions on how to install this uh, and whatnot. I don't want to misquote anything. Um, you know, by and large, most this would probably just go right in and I could screw this in and We'd, we'd be fine, but I think he does recommend a little bit of uh, high quality lithium style grease here on the threads just to keep it from binding and have it smooth operation and all that good stuff. And then obviously you'd want to grease your um, <clears throat> camming surface here and anything that's uh, metal to metal contact. Okay, so anyway, I just thought that'd be kind of a neat thing to show. The uh, the J lock, the dreaded J lock. Getting rid of that. I'm gonna replace it with a high quality, made in America, modern replacement firing pin assembly, made by Gratan Rifles. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, again, please like, comment, and subscribe to the video here. Help us uh, promote the business and all that good stuff. Uh, if you guys need any gunsmithing services, uh, high-end accuracy work, rifle work, bolt action stuff, you know where to go. Contact info is in the description below. All right, thanks a lot. Take care, and goodbye for now.